Wow. It's about that time. It's happening again, y'all. A lot of kicks coming back, man. It's kind of nostalgic, if you will. But I got double nostalgia on some of this stuff. I'm going to talk about a couple of pairs. And then we're going to remember. We're going to reminisce. Like one of those episodes of Martin or Fresh Prince when they used to just reminisce and they think think back in the days, you feel me? Kind of that type of thing. Anyway, what it is, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day to day today. I've been wanting to talk about this for like the last couple of weeks, but I don't have a lot. I was on vacation and down in Orlando, and then I had a, um, some more videos to catch up on, but we finna finally get into it. They bringing some things back in 2025. Two shoes to be exact that come to mind because both of them came out in 2016. So 2016 to 2020, what's that, nine years? Ooh, I've been on YouTube way too long. Nine years? Anyway, let's get into it first up. Just we gonna, we just gonna, we just gonna, we just gonna rip the band-aid off right quick. First up, we're gonna talk about these. I should have started with the shoe that came out first, that Jordan had first when he was playing, but I'm nah, I'm not going to start with that. I'm going to start with these. Oh, he, ha. <laughs> this is my 2016 pair, man. It's still looking kind of spiffy. The Air Jordan 12 Flu Games. So this shoe right here is what I call the Flu Game. Got some wrinkle action. This happened in all 12s, like this little creasing. If you wear them, that's going to happen, that little creasing right there. But um, it's crazy how camera quality has changed over the years. This is the same shoe I had on a pickup vlog, and it you can just see so much more detail and color on it now. But anyway, shoe dropped in 2016. Originally, 1997, I want to say, 1997. Um, I remember seeing Concords, not Concords, I'm just all over the place. I remember seeing... Um, Taxis was the first colorway that dropped in 1997. I was in high school, and I just remember Kareem. Shout out to Kareem. I ain't seen Kareem in forever. I hope he's doing good. Dude named Kareem, ninth grade, man. He walked in class. Was that ninth or tenth grade? I want to say ninth grade. He walked in class with them. Uh, they weren't called Taxis. They weren't called Jordan 12s. They was just called the New Jordans. And I sat there. I wasn't really hating, but Envy is the word that comes to mind when I seen Kareem with them things on. But I was looking like it was such a basic shoe, and it still is. The white black shoe, little gold hitch. That's it. Yellow on the look, slightly yellow on the back. Y'all know what taxis look like. I just remember being like, bruh. And then when it came around to the end of the basketball season, playoffs, finals. You know, we start seeing these guys right here. Start seeing the playoffs. We start seeing these flu games, man. Just bring back memories of back in the day when I was in high school, loving Jordans, man. Being in, just so into it, the excitement. Mama didn't want to buy me none of them shoes because they was over a hundred dollars, way over a hundred dollars. But I just remember wanting it and just being into like MJ so much. But also, you get a double dose of nostalgia this time because since I've started this sneaker channel. Some of these shoes have been dropping like this one. And it just makes you makes you reminisce a little bit. Hmm. Oh, y'all still here? I guess I couldn't find a transition for the the uh, memory thing. So anyway, door swipe. There's those man. Quality. Woo! In my humble opinion. Cleans duh. Well, no, no, hold on, hold on. Let's let, let's get some of your terminology going. <laughs> what, what would you compare this, this leather to? What, 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 what animal? animal <laughs> what animal skin you got going on with those? This is probably made from a hippopotamus. This quadricep right here, because this is a big part of it. This whole black part is a quadricep of a hippopotamus. So a hippo quadricep. A hippo quadricep okay. right here. As long as we ain't get no nuts and ass nah, this time. No nuts. <laughs> well, this might be snake nuts right here. This might be snake nuts, Mike. Snakes got nuts? Yeah, they drag them on the sand. <laughs> okay, so, so we really got rough. snake nuts and hippo quadricep action yeah. going on. And then the sole. Man, you're a fool with that, bro. The sole, the sole is like, you know, bumble, glass, I mean, um, under the desk, 
bubble gum. It's very like you got that Damn. chewy like. So that we ain't even getting animal uh, leather. Nah, it's just... probably airhead, like an airhead type of like you know. You got that airhead, that chewiness. But the carbon fiber that's made out of rhinos, a rhino's uh tip right there. That's straight tip. Yeah, the tip of the, the horn. Okay, the tip. Yeah, you thinking of, see, you thinking of the stuff. <laughs> That's young Tony Digital right there, bro. Young Tony D, um, and young white, well, younger Mike Rich, should I say? Um, I was still, I was in my thirties still, so you know. Oh boy, that's crazy. That Jordan Twelve shirt I got on with the gold, hey, that's on fire. I don't care what nobody say about wearing Jordan shirts. It was hard. Tony D with my my hair is longer now than Tony D's was in this, in that uh in that clip. Shout out to Tony D. So it's promising. It's looking promising for the kid. But yeah, man, nostalgia. I've been on YouTube long enough to have did unboxed and open and pick up vlog the last retro of these, um, and they gonna come out again. Now they coming out twenty twenty five. Honestly. With a couple of with a, um, a couple of rocks in the shoe like that right there, I don't think I need. I mean, just looking at these, I don't need it. unless they do something different with them. This is the true flu game to me. I know a lot of people go back to that suede flu game that was literally made with the sick face, and it was the suede was supposed to represent the flu game more. But this is the actual, you know, rep real representation of the flu game because this is closer to the actual shoe that he wore in the game, man. This is the OG to me. I mean, this is I mean, the closest iteration to what he wore in the game. That red and that black just hit so hard against each other, man. Like I said, but I don't I don't need it again. So, of course, I, it dropped next year. I'll be doing a video on it, but that's about it. And, um, you know, doing some mall vlogs and see if they sit. This shoe didn't sit at all. This shoe sold out so quick everywhere. This is probably one of the fewest shoes I didn't really see. I'm trying to remember. Go back in my vlog memory bank. I couldn't really find no vlogs with me seeing these sitting. I could, I'll probably go back again. Watch, I'll go back again and i see them sitting somewhere after I do this video. But I can't remember seeing these sitting nowhere. These other ones, on the other hand, let's get into the, the next one. Reminiscing part two. Here you talking about. These right here, shawty. The Air Jordan 5 black metallic guys, bro. Little lint, little lint going. See, I went with the white laces. Like that boy Air Jordan did with the guy. You feel me? They cleansed with the white laces, boy. Do it if you haven't tried it. Do it. Give it a shot. Give it a try. You will feel you will feel good about yourself if you're going ahead and try the white laces and the black metallics. It was like our first time getting the Nike on the ass in a long time. I'm pretty sure these dropped in 2016. 127, 16. So I'm thinking these was All Star weekend. It says one, like January of 2016. So did they come out in the summertime or something? Cause usually when it, when the shoe is made in January, it don't come out to like the summertime. I don't know, I can't remember. June, July, when did these drop? I can't remember. I have to look it up. But anyway, Black Metallic Fives, man. Like I said, man, when these drop originally, I can't even act like I was just so into them originally. I was only, what, 1990? I was only 10 years. I was 8 years old, so I'm not finna see act like. I just remember when they start retro. -ing. I do remember Michael Jordan wearing them, but at some, for some reason when I was that young, it was like, I wasn't really caring about no sneakers. Like, 8 years old, I don't think I was really into the sneakers. So, later on, when I saw retros and I, you know, I, I start watching my Jordan film again and stuff like that, like, and we didn't have YouTube then, so I was probably like watching like DVDs or, or, or VHS tapes and stuff like that, seeing Jordan wearing these. That was my nostalgia came from more for these right here, just watching Come Fly with Me and you know, Airtime, you know, a lot of the Michael Jordan little um, uh, documentaries and seeing MJ rocking these right here in 1990. Um, or OGs, man. <laughs> so they're supposed to be coming back 2025, which will make a like, like I said, eight year, nine year, my bad, nine year, nine year. Um, and I think that's long enough, honestly. I just think I've been on YouTube so long. It seemed like, dang, man, I've been doing videos since the last retro came out, which makes me think about another piece of nostalgia. Hmm. Dang. Still no imaginary swoosh thing? Anyway, door, door, door swipe, door swipe. Hold on, 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 hold on,
man. The Air Jordan 5 Retro. Oh, he's mine. OG. Black. Metallic. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta have a moment. Moment of silence. About five seconds. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Who's Please, this? man? Man! And why I was ain't coming, bro? Yeah, I know, man. Ah, uh, cuz. Black Metallic 5 action. Beauty, man. Beautiful. Clean in. Oh. Appreciate it, Mama. And me. Mama. I, yeah, said, I just hit you back. That was my appreciate it to you. I don't give him back hard. I didn't see that Nike in the man. back, man. You gotta sit close up the close up of the Nike. Let me see oh, oh, man. Man! <laughs> Where is that type of excite? I don't even, I can't remember last time I got that excited about a sneaker, bro. I thought I was going to be that excited about Military Blues because I really wanted that shoe. But when I got it, it's like I got so many shoes. When you, and then when you've been in the game so long and you got like, I've, I've gotten almost every shoe that I wanted back when I was a kid now. So it's like, oh man, the excitement. Oh, is it, is it leaving? Is it going to be gone? Like, Am I not going to be this excited about kicks? No, just, that was just 2016. Look how excited we were about those shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? And my son not even really knowing the history except for what he know through me. But he was just the excitement just carried. You know, between me, T. Ward, and Jari, it was just carried. We were just excited about it, man. And it's just, I want that sneaker excitement back. You know what I'm saying? I need it. It's like the... It's the endorphins. It's the it's the it's the, the stuff in the, in the what would you call it? Dopamine. It, it hit in your brain and make you excited about something. I need that, and I haven't been excited about sneakers like that in a long time. But anyway, like I said, having these, if they bring them out, very very similar to how these done, unless they do something different with them, that's gonna really make me go crazy. Like adding some really good materials or doing some kind of reimagined version of these, which I know a lot of people just want the OGs. They want them just to look like these right here. They just want them to look like they're supposed to look. But I, if they look just like these right here, I can't see myself buying them because these two sneakers still look pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing that a lot. I didn't get bread reimagines. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. Like, I got two pair of Bordeaux. They bring Bordeaux 7s out again. I'm a, and that's my favorite shoe. It's just like, almost like I gotta get it. But what else different can they do besides bring us the original shape and how the shoe looked back in the day? Hopefully they do that with Raptors soon and I get my hands on So I, I can't say that I'm <clears throat> I'm not gonna buy something that I got a retro of because we, we, we got, it gotta be the, it gotta be the perfect, it gotta be the correct shape. It gotta be the true retro. You know what I'm saying? And they did pretty good on these two shoes in 2016 in my humble opinion anyway comment below and tell me what y'all think about black metallic fives and flu game jordan 12s dropping 2025 the fact that we know it already is crazy because a lot of information might change between now and then it might not even be the flu games in the blacks uh, uh cement i mean the, um the um metallics it might be an iteration or a different or remix or a reimagine of those or it might just have the same color code and it end up being a completely different shoe who knows but from what I'm hearing from all the outlets, uh, Z Sneakerheads was the first person I saw posted. We getting the OG flu games in Black Metallic 5. So comment below and tell me what y'all think. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my videos because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah. Watch me so stupid as a dara Check out my kiss in apparel Rich like a king of fairy, yeah Yeah, Air Capitan, they callin' me jet like I'm sparrow East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like tears of Mary, yeah Watch out with the Camaro Stay out my lane, it's too narrow God more, God more, stay blessed, I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow Man of the people you did, they singin' my name just like it's a carol Cause Mike got the juice by the berry, yeah I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah Get me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish, yeah LBRG me, now I'm Gucci, Gucci, bricks But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10, I don't miss rich I don't miss me